Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to talk about the magic of the Feynman K exchange algorithm from a programmer's perspective. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. The Feynman K exchange algorithm is one of the most important algorithm in cryptography because it launched public key cryptography. In the Feynman K exchange algorithm, we are going to need a base generator G and we mostly pick this number as small number in real world examples. Let's set it to 17. This is the base generator. Thereafter, we are going to need a large prime number P. This is going to be the modulus. NSA recommends a couple of algorithms in its Suite B cryptography list as secure and here AES with 128 and 256 bits are taught as safe today. Equivalent of the AES 128 bits in the Falman as 3072 bits. So we are going to adopt the Falman with 3072 bits in this experiment. So modulus P is going to be 3072 bits in this experiment. And I'm going to use OpenSSL to generate random prime and set its module to prime. Thereafter, dash generate dash bits at number of bits i'm going to copy this prime number into my notebook then alice and bob will generate their private case a is going to be the private key of alice and here i'm going to import random module thereafter random dot generate random bits and i'm going to use 3072 bits random integer this is this private key. As I mentioned, modulus p must be prime, but this doesn't have to be prime. Similarly, Bob is going to generate a random integer with 3072 bits. This is going to be his private key. Then Alice and Bob will calculate their public case. QA is going to be the public key of Alice, and she's going to find the g to the power of a mod p she can use built-in power function of python and she can set base and exponent respectively thereafter she can find the value for modulus p but this is going to take long time instead of this she's going to use same built-in power function again and set first argument as base second argument as exponent and third argument as modulus this is going to be performed much faster and this is the magic of the Feynman algorithm because this calculation is running g times g times g and it's going to be a times she can find this multiplications in modulus p and this is going to be equal to g times g mod p times g mod p times g mod p in every multiplication she can find the value for mod p this is going to be performed much faster thereafter bob is going to calculate his public key by the way let's clear these lines and he's going to find his public key value with g to the power of his private key b in modulus p as you can see this calculation is performed very fast if you know base and exponent and also the modulus you can find your public key easily on the other hand public key of this is going to be public so we can represent this expression g to the power of a a is the private k value of alice and we don't know it this is equal to her public k and here we are going to have modulus p 17 to the power of a for this modulus is going to be this public k value but finding a from this equation is computationally hard that's why this is called discrete logarithm 
problem and attacker is going to use brute force attack to find the a from this equation he can set the initial value of i to zero thereafter in a infinite loop he's going to increase the value of i then he's going to check g to the power of i in modulus p is equal to public key of ls if this condition is satisfied thereafter this while loop is going to be terminated and he can say that private k of others is i but this calculation is competitionally hard you can try to run this block but you are not going to find the result sincerely once alice and bob calculated their public k values now they are going to perform k exchange now alice is going to find the shared k but calculating public k of bob which is Cube to the power of her private k in modulus p and similarly bob is going to calculate the shared k with the public k of alice to the power of his private k b in modulus p let's check these values are same guess this condition is satisfied and bob and alice found same k this is the shared k let's discuss the math behind this k exchange algorithm alice calculated bob's public k to the power of her private k and bob was calculated his public k as g to the power of his private k b thereafter alice is going to find the value of g to the power of b to the power of her private k a similarly alice does this calculation Bob does public key of Alice to the power of has private key and public key of Alice was calculated as g to the power of her private key a. Thereafter, he's going to find the power of his private key b. According to the power rule of exponent, this statement is going to be g to the power of b times a, and this statement is going to be g to the power of a times b and multiplication of a and b and b and a is going to be the same so shared case must be equal to each other always we can confirm this as let's find the g to the power of a times b in modulo p this is equal to the shared k of ls and let's find the inverse of it g to the power of b times a so in that way Alice and Bob can calculate the same shared k but man in the middle cannot extract a and b from this equation that's why this approach is secure evaluate the crypto system with the man in the middle an attacker knows public key of Alice and also public key of Bob and we also know that public key of Alice was calculated by g to the power of her private key and public key of Bob was calculated as g to the power of his private key b if the attacker multiplies these values q a times q b is going to be g to the power of a times g to the power of b according to the product rule of exponents this multiplication is going to be g to the power of a plus b and this is not the shared k calculated by alice or bob let's test this public k of alice times public k of bob in mod p is this let's set it to x and let's find g to the power of a plus b in mod p let's set this to y x and y must be equal to each other and x must be different than the shared k of alice or bob so in this video we focus on the magic of the Feynman k exchange algorithm from the perspective of programmers and we implement the crypto system in python programming language from scratch also we focus on the math behind the crypto system thank you all for watching and see you next time